At times, you may want to disable a user's mailbox, that is, prevent them from sending or receiving mail from that mailbox. The mailbox will still exist, but it will be unusable by the user. One way of doing this is through the Exchange Management Console by selecting Recipient Configuration or Mailbox and then selecting the mailbox and you'll notice from the Actions pane there's an option here, Disable. If you select that option it says it will remove the Exchange properties from the Windows User Object and mark the mailbox in the database for removal. Are you sure you want to disable User 1? We click Yes and you might notice it disappeared. Now you might say, well that's not what I wanted. I didn't want it to disappear. But where did it go? Well if we click Disconnected Mailbox you'll see that it's here under the Disconnected Mailbox area. If you select that you notice it gives you the option to connect it back up again. If we click Connect you'll notice it says User Mailbox. It's almost like going through the process all over again. In this case we're going to leave it at the matching user although we can select browse and locate the matching user as opposed to an existing user let's say attaching that mailbox to another person if we want to we click next see the configuration summary click connect and now the mailbox is connected back up with its original person here we click finish it's good to know though that if you wanted to connect a mailbox up with a different person you can do that by disabling it here and then reconnecting it up to a different person from the disconnected mailbox area. If you want to remove a mailbox completely you can select the mailbox and click remove. We get the same message, we say yes and again it goes into disconnected mailboxes here. In this case however by removing the mailbox, we also removed the user object that's connected to the mailbox. So if we go into the Active Directory Users and Computers, we see that User1 no longer exists. We would have to recreate User1 or restore User1 in order to then connect this mailbox back up with its original user you see that there's no original user there any longer. So we would have to make sure that we got the user back and then we can connect the mailbox back up to that individual. However, if 30 days passes, this mailbox is going to be deleted. So if that user does return, then you can restore the mailbox to the user. If not, you'll have to go into your backups in order to get the mailbox from a backup. And we hope that was informative. We'll see you in the next lesson.